Hello and welcome to Springfield Symphony Orchestra's Homegrown. I'm Kirsten Lipkins, the Education Director, and I have with me today a very special guest, Hanif Nelson. Um, the Youth Orchestra has been busy, even though we can't meet in person, we are having live virtual online courses for um, a four week session that is just wrapping up. And Hanif Nelson is teaching intro to composition for some of our youth orchestra students. And um, I, I, I'm gonna in, just say, first of all, we're so happy that you've joined our teaching staff. <laughs> and um, tell us a little bit about what your class has been doing this session. Well, you know, this session, you know, the idea of putting this, this class together, you know, was how do we give people an opportunity to learn about composition, especially if they have limited knowledge on music theory, which is very important when it comes to composing music. So in putting this class together, it was, let's give them opportunities to show how you can compose doing simple tasks and things that you already have a, a grasp on. And let's not make it too complicated so that if you want to proceed, you already understand like there's some other things you have to know to proceed further and and give a good foundation to build on so it's like little things you know from what we know what a scale is so how do we manipulate a scale we take a, a nursery rhyme or we take a road rhythm or something that is very popular that everyone's heard of and how do we re rearrange that how do we do these little things with like with what we have and just to kind of spark that curiosity and that and it's been very valuable to do it, it, it's so enjoyable for me to watch and I've been so happy that you shared with me some of the compositions that your class has written. And so even though you're talking about simple concept of a, a, a scale or a nursery rhyme, what the students have created with these simple assignments has been a lot more than simple. They have written some yeah. really beautiful music. It's like you've just, you've, you've allowed them to be really creative in ways they didn't know. Tell us a little bit about this assignment with the B flat major scale, and uh, that's what we'll be hearing after after we talk. Is this uh, this piece is going to be performed by one of our youth orchestra students? So, well, what I did is, you know, for their first uh, composition, uh, we took a B flat major scale, and I said, I want you to now write a variation of it. It could be as long or as short as you want it to be. You can use and you don't have any constraint with rhythm or anything like that, just take this B-flat major scale and write some sort of variation, however you want to reimagine hearing it. And so I got these compositions in, some were four bars long, some were two bars long, some were six bars long. And after I got all of them, you know, we listened to all of them in class, I'm like, you know, uh, I'm going to write one with them. And we put it all together and created this joint composition that features everyone in the class and you know some of my class is very shy about sharing so what i did to make sure that they didn't have to you know feel embarrassed or anything is i put them all out of order from what we, how we listen to them in class and i didn't tell any i didn't label whose is whose only the composer knows which part of the composition is theirs and you know it was it was great because they got a chance to write their first composition ever and then they got a chance to participate on their first joint composition ever and had no idea that was what was, that's what it was leading to. It was and, and amazing. I, yeah. And when yeah. you when you played it for me, I thought, let's let's put this on homegrown. What musician what uh, musical instrument will it work with? And you you helped fit it to the clarinet. And it's just this really neat piece now. It's really Yeah. And I think the most important thing was not giving them any kind of constraint. I didn't tell them, you know, to write it in a particular time signature. And in fact, in some cases, some of the entries didn't have any time signatures on them. So what I did is, you know, when I saw that most people were writing in 4-4 four, four time, I based it on 4-4 four, four and where someone wrote like five beats in the metric, instead of trying to reinterpret it, I just put that as a measure of five and said, like, this is what you gave me and show them like this is what you actually gave me so some of them were writing in mixed meter and didn't even realize that's what they were doing and you know they were doing things that you don't typically think about until way down the road but at the same time i think that's the beauty of this class it's 
you know, you don't have to have music theory knowledge. You don't have to have an extensive knowledge of scores and all this other thing. It's let's just start somewhere and let's see what happens. Let's see how we go forward. Wonderful. Well, I'm so excited to say that we will have a session too um, that will start mid-November and it will be open to the general public. So any students uh, that are interested in taking Hanif's composition class and we have other uh, really exciting classes, some music theory and a score reading class with, um, that has, has also been a huge hit. So check out our website and uh, tell your friends to come and, and write some music with Hanif, uh, learn about pieces you've never heard before and delve into the score. Um, but it's, it's, it's so wonderful to hear about your class. And now we're going to meet John, who is going to play the clarinet, and then hear him play this amazing piece that your class wrote. Thank you, Hanif. Thank you. So I'm really excited and happy to have John Cowles here with me right now, our clarinet player, who will hear play in just a few minutes. John is a member of SYO, um, the Advanced Orchestra, the Advanced Youth Orchestra. Tell us how many years you've been playing with the Springfield Youth Orchestras. Um, for the SYO, this would be my third year, and I played, I believe, three years with the SYS, so six. Wow! Oh my gosh, you've been a part of this group for so long. That's amazing. And what year are you this year, John? I am a senior. Tell me, uh, what high school you go to? Um, I go to Belcher Town High School. Fabulous. So you are a busy clarinet player playing in high school and then in normal times playing in the youth orchestra. <laughs> so we've been busy though. We've had some youth orchestra classes and although you haven't been taking the composition class with the piece you're playing today, um, you've been taking another class called Reading the Signs. Do you want to talk a little bit about that and your experience? Yep, of course. Um, I've loved it so far. It's um something I've never really experienced before. So it's great to learn about. The um, instructor is amazing. Um, I do plan on going into music education. So this is a uh, very helpful for me. It's a beginning to what I might do as a job later in oh, life. Oh, that's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, every week, Kaylin um, will play different pieces for you and show you the score and um, talks about, um, you know, little things that you might not hear through the first listen through. And then when he tells you about it, do you hear it in a different way after he tells you about these things? Oh, yes. It's amazing what you hear and what you realize after analyzing the score and what's really going on within a piece. Yeah, and it's it's kind of a class that works on Zoom. I mean, we're we're getting it done with the virtual. So that's a great course to to check out for anybody who's interested is reading the signs. And there'll be two um, two different um, sections of it this coming session too. They'll he'll repeat the same class he did with you, and then he's going to do a whole set of new music for students that want to continue with him. So that will be fun. So John, without further ado, let's hear you play your amazing clarinet piece. Thank you so much for doing this for us. No problem. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. 